Several things that we use on a daily basis were created through military research and development. Military programs that work on new technology have over the years contributed to the development of several consumer end products. In this video, we will be counting down 10 military inventions used in everyday life. Number 10. Aerosol Bug Spray. Invented in 1941, this came about in World War II when soldiers stationed in the South Pacific needed an easy way to kill mosquitoes that could potentially carry malaria. In a partnership with the Department of Defense, two scientists with the United States Department of Agriculture took on the task of developing a way to deliver insecticide in a mist form. This led to the first aerosol can being patented in 1941, and this aerosol bug spray was quickly nicknamed the bug bomb by soldiers. Number 9. Duct Tape. The United States military was in need of a durable adhesive tape during World War II that could maintain its bond under harsh field conditions. Invented in 1942, the Johnson & Johnson Company was asked by the military to develop the idea and initially called it duct tape for its waterproof nature. Civilians began to utilize the product heavily during the post-war housing boom when it was used to seal central air and heating systems. Duct tape was also used in ductwork, so much that it was renamed and recolored to match the silver metallic color of HVAC systems. Number 8. Super glue. Super glue was invented in 1942 when chemist Dr. Harry Coover was testing a variety of compounds for use in a plastic rifle sight. He inadvertently created cyanoacrylate, a compound later marketed as super glue. The material was incredibly durable, but was dismissed for being too sticky. Nine years later, when a colleague was testing cyanoacrylate, Dr. Coover had another encounter with the material as the colleague complained the compound ruined his equipment, only then did Dr. Coover realize its commercial potential. Despite its early invention, Super Glue was first sold as a commercial product in 1958, and the product was eventually adopted by military surgeons, who would spray it over wounds to stop bleeding instantly during the Vietnam War. Aviator Sunglasses Today they are recognized as an iconic fashion item, but the characteristic shape and dark lenses of aviator sunglasses were once necessary protection for test pilots who were exposed to the dangerously bright sunlight of the upper atmosphere. In the 1930s, optics manufacturer Bosch and Long developed aviator goggles under the direction of the United States Army Air Corps. They would later rebrand the sunglasses in 1937 as Ray-Ban and sold them to the civilian population. By World War II, aviator sunglasses were a standard accessory for United States soldiers, and the glasses were further popularized by Hollywood stars in the 1950s. Making our list at number six is blood transfusions. Did you know that early transfusions were made directly from person to person? This medical procedure has saved countless lives since it was first introduced in the 17th century, but it took the carnage of World War I to bring the blood transfusion into regular use. The man to thank is United States Army doctor, Captain Oswald Robertson, who saw the potential in transfusions to aid any wounded troops on the battlefield. He set up a blood bank on the Western Front in 1917, using sodium citrate to stop the blood from coagulating, and blood was also kept frozen for 28 days and sent to medical stations, where it could be used during surgery. This proved to be a success and more blood banks were set up as the use of transfusions increased. Number 5. Global Positioning System GPS. In the 1960s, the United States Department of Defense developed the original Global Positioning System. The idea was to use satellites to determine a user's position on Earth by measuring their distance from three peripheral satellites in a process known as trilateration. The system became fully operational in March 1994 
and the public received a comprehensive preview of the technology during the Gulf War, when soldiers used GPS to navigate across deserts and target enemies with an accuracy that was previously impossible. Today, GPS technology is used in consumer products such as cars and phones, as well as applications like earthquake research and geocaching. Number 4. WD-40 WD-40 can be found in homes all across the globe, but its first use was to protect the outer skin of the Atlas missile from rust and corrosion. The rust prevention solvent and degreaser was created by the Rocket Chemical Company in 1953. After 40 attempts to create a successful water displacing formula, they created WD-40, which stands for water displacement, with the 40 signifying the 40 attempts required to get the formula right. Number 3 on our list is the walkie-talkie. Although cell phones have pretty much replaced walkie-talkies, some businesses still rely on them to communicate, and the modern mobile phone arguably descended from this military technology. The two-way portable radio was first used in World War II and was invented by the Galvin Manufacturing Corp, later known as Motorola, and the United States Army as a way for soldiers to communicate in the field. Number 2. Microwave Ovens The microwave oven was actually invented by accident in 1946 by a Raytheon engineer named Percy Spencer. Spencer was testing a military-grade magnetron and realized it had caused his snack to melt. He later tested putting eggs and popcorn kernels under this tube and realized it could effectively heat up eggs and cause popcorn to pop. A year later, the first commercial microwave using this technology hit the market and the microwave oven stuck in our homes ever since. Making number one on our list is the internet. Perhaps the most important invention to date, and since you are watching this video on the internet, it is the greatest invention for military stuff. You would not be able to message your friends on Facebook, watch videos on YouTube from anywhere in the world, or even subscribe to our channel without the internet. All of this would not be possible without the military sinking years of work and billions of dollars into the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. The Advanced Research Projects Agency Network began, during the Cold War, as a way for the United States military to develop an information-sharing system without the need for a command center. Fast forward decades later, and we now have the World Wide Web that we all use and enjoy today. That's all for military inventions. Which invention do you use the most? Leave a comment in the comment section with your favorite invention. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos.